And just like that, cruisers, a new week is upon us. Welcome back and thank you for joining our daily Cruise Hive news updates. We start the week off with four stories as Carnival Cruise Line sends sanctions reminder. Carnival cancels ports, weather forces Norwegian Cruise Line cancellation and a new P&O cruises fee. So join us as we delve fully into all these updates brought to you directly from CruiseHive.com. Guests aboard Norwegian Cruise Line's Norwegian Prima missed their planned port of call in Amsterdam on May the 31st due to high winds. The ship could not transit the sea locks leading to the city's port as wind speeds reached 17 miles per hour. Instead, the 3,100 guest ship sailed to Bruges in Zeebrugge a day ahead of schedule. The Norwegian Prima, currently on a 10-day voyage from Reykjavik to Southampton, instead spent two days in Bruges, having departed on June the 1st and arriving in Southampton on June the 2nd. P&O Cruises has unveiled a new cancellation fee for its youth programme, The Reef, effective from May the 30th. Under the new policy, cancellations within 24 hours of a session will incur a £5, which is $6.36 charge, with a £10, which is $12.73 fee for no-shows. The initiative aims to tackle last-minute cancellations, ensuring fair access to the programme. While some parents support the move for accountability, others express concerns about flexibility, particularly regarding unpredictable child behaviour. P&O Cruises is monitoring feedback to potentially refine the policy. So Cruisers, are you for or against these fees by P&O Cruises? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Carnival has reminded travel partners and agents about adhering to international sanctions laws, prohibiting bookings for travellers from certain regions. Now, following Russia's invasion of Ukraine on February the 24th, 2022, Carnival implemented policies to stop selling cruises to residents of Russia, Belarus and specific Ukrainian regions. This compliance includes laws from the US, UK and the EU. The reminder also covers Cuba, North Korea, Iran, Syria and Crimea. Travel partners must ensure accurate guest residency details and prevent bookings from restricted areas to comply with these regulations. Guests on Carnival Pride's early summer cruise to Greenland will miss ports in Nanotalic and Kakatok due to poor weather and substantial icebergs. Scheduled visits for June the 1st and 2nd were cancelled and replaced by scenic fjord cruising near Ivatu. Adjusted Canadian ports include St Anthony on June the 3rd, Corner Brook on June the 5th and Sydney on June the 6th. To compensate, Carnival is offering $400 on-board credit per stateroom and refunds for cancelled shore tours as the ship returns to Baltimore on June the 9th. Two more Greenland cruises are planned for August and September 2024. And that's it for me today, cruisers. My name is Paul and all the news you require is over on cruisehive.com. Now, if anyone has any news, you can email us at newstips at cruisehive.com. Please show your support by liking our video and please subscribing to our channel. I hope you have a good day, cruisers, and I'll see you in the next video.